What's going on guys? Today we're gonna learn uh, new commands in um, Ubuntu Linux. All right, so we can we press uh, Control Alt T to open the terminal, and when we open the terminal, uh, we first write um, username. I've tested this uh, command in Apple as well, so I think it looks like uh, it's the same uh, command. It works at the Apple uh, terminal as well. So uh, the first one we're going to learn is if you ask the computer, "Who am I?" So the computer is going to respond your name. Um, so the first one is who am I that's so the first one is who am I that's the new command which we're gonna learn today all right so today I'm gonna show you guys how to install uninstall how to remove and how to deal with the stubborn stubborn uh, when you install them and that's fine but when you want to get rid of them they um, they're causing a problem and one thing I tell you guys one more thing so with the windows when you press delete when you put something in recycle bin so don't see it you just so don't see the software but with the Linux once you delete it it's gone 100% um, is gone completely it removes completely from your system. with the windows they've got a different system um, They've got a backup system so once you delete something it just disappears from the main screen and it goes to the back uh, uh, of the screen so in, in case if you need it again say after three years or four years if you want to go back to the same date you can uh, that that file or that uh, piece of software reappears so uh, that's one thing with Linux I'll just warn you guys okay so the who am I we typed uh, it means telling you your username who you are and another one is where is where is sorry that's my spelling so where is where is is asking you where uh, it says that where is not enough arguments it means where is what uh, uh, with what you're looking for so I say where is code blocks so code blocks is um, id for um, this one id for c c plus plus if you guys familiar with c c plus plus so i'm asking the computer where is my user library lib or library code blocks and user share code blocks and user so it's mainly it's in here so i still got that uh gz shouldn't be it should clean it okay anyway so where is it shows you guys is a handy tools if you guys want to still know say if you guys install the software or you want to get rid of the software that's what you guys do and if you want to guys find out that if the piece of software is still sitting in your computer uh, another command is that uh, sudo every now and then you guys need this one just to let you guys know that uh, it, in the Linux it used to be apt get it used to be apt get but I think for some reason it's not working anymore so all you need is apt apt auto remove auto remove so you press that one sudo apt as I mentioned you guys before that for anything to install in your computer for any software or for any other reason if you want to modify or execute a program or install remove anything you need a sudo you must be uh, admin or you must be root to anything to install in your computer for any software or for any other reason if you want to modify or execute a program or install remove anything you need a sudo you must be uh, admin or you must be root to so with the auto remove I'll press and it's gonna ask about my username sorry password I'll put my password and it's looking for uh, any unwanted software inside the system so uh, auto remove if you just studio apt auto remove if you guys anything sitting in your computer that your uh, operating system which is Ubuntu uh, doesn't want it, it it removes it straight away then it's gonna ask you uh, do you want to remove this and it says it's not wanted by uh, Ubuntu 
so by Linux so we copy this and we paste it where is so sudo apt auto remove to remove unwanted softwares our headers or kernels whatever so it removes anything anything that Ubuntu doesn't need it anymore I don't know why it's software whatever okay or to remove because it's not um, inside this um, um, inside the libre office okay so um, how do we remove that software we install say in my case uh, I want to remove this code block so what I'll do is that I type sudo apt auto remove code blocks you must know the name of the program you're uninstalling and uh, removing from your system say in my case is code blocks because code blocks sitting here sitting here and I want to remove it through ter uh, through terminal one more thing I forgot to tell you guys you can remove it through Ubuntu software as well so there you go I'll show you next how you remove that one from uh, okay I'll put this one on pause and show you this the first method which you know this is very easy so you guys go there it says Ubuntu software and it says that installed installed and updates if you guys look here it give you the list of all installed ones so if you guys looking this one is code block IDE code block IDE is sitting here and I have the option to remove it see can you guys see it's a GUI um, interface um, graphical user interface of uh, Ubuntu which um, gives easy access to these softwares through this GUI uh, graphical things for uh, the users okay so I use this every now and then but I'm used to this terminal and I always uh, do that thing from terminal so uh, now it's telling that reading packages list done reading um, building dependencies trees uh, also done whatever information in code blocks uh, code block common and uh, they're gonna be uh, after this operation 20.5 megabytes disk will be free so it means it's telling me that that after this whatever you're doing and installing re removing uh, your uh, this much of space is going to be removed so what I'll do is that I'll press yes and my the operations uh, going to start and um, it's going to remove these uh, code blocks from uh, this Ubuntu system we wait you guys um, going for job interviews the things and then the boss ask you uh, if you know Linux because Linux is very important nowadays um, uh, Google uses it all the these big firms they use um, Linux because Linux first is uh, free and open source and secondly uh, they all think um, on uh, Ubuntu because it's a free and open source and everyone's working uh, in the systems to try to patch up all these uh, vulnerabilities and patch up all these uh, weaknesses which they, they find in uh, uh, in Ubuntu okay so that's what everyone uses plus you don't need um, uh, any any license or any money or anything that are oh, your the software is expiring if your uh, Ubuntu is expiring near expired it just send you message look uh, we are not providing you any more service so please upgrade your uh, system that that's how easy it is so what you do is that once you install that uh, software and it comes in the new software uh, that's it all it needs your permission to install the new software unlike uh, Windows you need to go and buy a license which is I don't know I think it's pathetic so okay there the progress is 90% so um, it's removing all these um, code blocks from this my operating system I'll go and check as you guys can see it's gone it disappeared so 
I'll go back to terminal and still at 90% and and one more thing if you're removing a software you don't need internet connection here if you're uh, on Wi-Fi or something if it's running a little bit slow you can turn off the Wi-Fi and the running is going to be very fast um, and another terminal is open while that terminal is uninstalling on um, this terminal we're going to check uh, if uh, code blocks still exist in the system okay so we again use the same the command which we used where is we use it where is code it says code blocks can't find code blocks because code blocks gone so as you can see here and all automatically this one's the auto removed already worked and it's removed everything's all the uh, code blocks uh, 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 repositories and code blocks uh, libraries removed uh, from this Ubuntu system okay just in case you guys are uh, removing uh, software when um, and you put it where is this software and you still can see that it's sitting at Etsy or uh, you're sitting at uh, user or any other um, places I'll show you guys how to remove that ones and I'll show you guys how to remove this um, stubborn very stubborn software some software is very stubborn to remove and Ubuntu is the, the best uh, operating system they know how to deal with this sort of software so okay so if it's there then you guys can do with sudo if you guys can see the software uh, if you put it where is this software you guys can still this do uh, sudo apt remove because there is nothing to remove I'm gonna put a remove code blocks I don't think it's in the system but just in case says package code blocks is not installed it means it's gone so there is nothing in the system to for this to check and another ones after uh, you guys uh, try to remove this with this um, uh, software the stubborn ones you guys can do the remove command and you guys can run the clean command as well to clean everything whatever in the system so sudo apt clean so it means all the systems clean okay um there is another one if you guys just in case installing sudo apt install code blocks so i'm reinstalling the code again because i removed it from uh, uh, my system so i'm going to reinstall the code blocks so as you guys can see it's a lot easy so with the with the open to you need one line of code to install this software as uh, with uh, Windows you got to go inside this and check this code blocks uh, uh, website and look for uh, this uh, install and to install it so it's coming back it says do you want to continue uh, after this operation 22.4 megabytes of additional disk there will be used so as you guys saw that before it says it will be uh, after this operation 22.4 megabytes of additional disk there will be used so as you guys saw that before it says it will be freed now it says going to be uh, used okay we're going to put yes and it's going to come in all right just in case you guys installing something and it gives you error and says that such and such such is uh, uh, not there or when your library is missing or for some reason is giving you error uh, you guys can do is sudo uh, I'll put already put a sudo apt minus f dash f install so it's gonna fix this it's gonna run the program because this uh, code blocks still installing in the system but just in case because uh, if you guys Linux Ubuntu uh, it's gonna be 100% you guys might bump up to this sort of uh, errors to this sort of problems and if you guys don't know how to fix it then it's gonna be nightmare so yeah
you can always go in the internet and just um, copy paste your uh, error type and the um, website there are a lot of websites which helps you know so with their your uh, error error type and error problem and how to fix it okay so um, it is keep running to the app dash f install and it's asking for my username i'll put my username okay it says could not get lock war lib dpk kg lock front end you know what it means it means this is somewhere i can't get this uh dpkg the package of this uh, terminal so i can't get this uh, package software that you want to uh, so you want to check that to fix this installation so it means this so it's a very good thing uh, you guys seen this thing this things it comes every now and then so it if it it's a terminal terminal is busy so um, if the terminal is busy it's not going to let you do any uninstallation or uh, uh installation uh, thing so uh there you go there is not gonna let you do any uninstallation or uh installation uh, thing so uh, uh there you go there is one more thing you guys learn okay it's uh, nearing uh, finish because i uh, don't have any i don't think i have any uh, broken installation or anything so I don't think it's going to give me any while this uh, going to 95% I'll just pause the video and I'll... all right guys done um, now we're going to check our um, sudo apt uh, dash f install so um, we check it I'll just want to show you guys that code blocks back as you guys can see so I install it with just one line of code. I didn't go to the website. I didn't um, uh, went there and uh, click this um, download button or anything. I just all I did and uh, click this um, download button or anything. I just all I did is sudo apt install code blocks. So you can do any say any software. So sudo apt install PHP say sudo apt install java so sudo apt install any other softwares so as soon as as long as you remember the name you just put a sudo apt install just in case if it's not in sudo apt it's going to give you another option so if, it, if it's not in between there it means it's not a in a ubuntu repository so you guys go install from the uh, uh, browser and i believe all these big software companies they have um, uh, some sort of repositories in um, Ubuntu so you can uh, download it straight away from the terminal okay so uh, sudo apt inst install sudo apt mind dash f install okay it means everything is fine uh, there is no broken uh, download uh, links or anything there is no broken uh, repository or anything so uh, it means the code block uh, the installation went smoothly with without any problem the screen uh, another one is uh, the command is dpkg as you guys saw that that dpkg is in variable a library dpkg is uh, I believe it's a package and lock front end okay so we now we use this dpkg uh, dash dash list we want to see how many softwares in our system so we want to see the list of all the softwares mm, gonna make it big as you guys can see this is the name of the all the softwares in our system we can see all the software everything whatever is in there I'm gonna put it back to the original thing and I'm gonna clear so dpkg just remember this we're gonna copy and we're gonna put it here okay so 
apt install no sudo apt dash f install to fix to fix broken installation it's gonna fix all this uh, it's gonna recheck installation that what went there uh, the steps and if it sees that anything is broken due to uh, net network failure or any other uh, um, internet uh, packet problem uh, that's gonna fix that packet or internet problem for you guys okay so this dpkg and dash dash list is gonna give you all the list of all the, the software inside the system inside your computer and how do we go if say you guys go and uh, check one of these um, one of these uh, software from here you guys go and check and you was guys want to go want to remove it um, uh, type sudo apt okay dash dash purge and just put a software name that's it it's gonna purge that so that says that command line option purge is not understood in combining with other options it mean because we did not give anything so uh, say you can do code blocks or you can choose any software from there and just purges just remove it so I didn't mention this purge purge is the same thing as remove clean I'll put it here sudo apt purge sudo apt purge so it all is going to remove everything. That's from yesterday, the code igniter. Okay. All right. Uh, so the last one, the last one, if um, say we tried everything and our software so for some reason is not removing now it's very stubborn so we do sudo aptitude remove that's what we do aptitude remove it's very strong password it removes straight away without it's gonna go and look everything inside the software and it's gonna see why the software is not removing and it's gonna control C because I don't want that so when you do control C it means it stops it stops anything that's running so uh, if you I just put a control uh, control C that's it if I put a control C it means it's gonna put a full stop so aptitude aptitude remove that was the last thing so it removed the stubborn remove the stubborn stubborn I think it's that's wrong stubborn let's see what's the dictionary say that's that's the correct spelling stubborn okay software there you go so remove the stubborn software and the last one was control control C stops the process of current program running inside terminal so it stops any um, progress of anything that is currently running in a, it's gonna 
put a full stop so you're gonna go back to the um, back to the sh uh, back to the main terminal again so it means uh, say for example if you're for some uh, reason you're running a lot of processes and uh, your computer is sluggish or for example it's uh, due to that uh, software running it's slowing down your computer you always can uh, can press control plus C um, if you press it like that if I'll press control C that's how you see this carrot and C it means it stops from running inside the terminal all right guys uh, that's it uh, for today tomorrow we explore uh, other options other uh, commands inside the Ubuntu uh, take care of yourself and so uh, take care of our channel as well uh,